artists, Calironers, curators, welcome to this session where we will talk about art authentication and selling and how technology can help you. Okay. So let's start with a little trivia. Do you know that technology can actually help you in selling art? That today the world is changing and is rapidly getting connected. Right now, while I'm sitting in India, I can still communicate with you from all over the world. Technology has tremendous potential and can be useful for various aspects of our life. So it has a lot of scope even in the world of art. The world is looking for us to move on from the traditional ways of selling art and adopt technological solutions. Let's move to the next trivia. Do you know that uh, you can sell your artwork without handing over your artwork to someone unknown? Well, as a curator, I keep hearing that artists have given their artworks to galleries on trust and in several cases, if they have given 10 paintings, they have received the sale amount for only 5 or 6 and the remaining is still with the galleries on a promise that it would sell soon. And later, the artist only get to know that the gallery has closed down and he lost all the four or five paintings. The artists are now reluctant to give their paintings to people who are not known and has not earned that credibility. The next trivia. Do you know that you can earn from your artwork even if you retain your artwork with you? Well, that's a tricky one, isn't it? So you retain your artwork and you can still earn from that. As an artist, we always think that I will paint one and sell it off and then it, I should forget about it. I will paint another one, I will sell it, again forget about it. But only when a painting becomes famous and gets resold, the artist gets to know that big profits which others are making. The artist rarely get any benefit from that. One more trivia, do you know? that technology can help you earn multiple times from the same art again and again? Well, that is also a tricky one. So we will talk about that as a solution when we are in this session. So hang around here to find out how you can earn multiple times and how you can even do authentication in a very unique way. So before I start, uh, let me give you some background about uh, me. Uh, my name is Shankar Mridha, which you can find out here uh, in this uh, video. And I'm the chief believer, uh, the CEO of Jumbish Creations Private Limited. But before we start this, started this company, I was there in a corporate world. I had completed 17 years in the IT industry and being a vice president in a Fortune 500 company as, a, as my last job. I had all the best things one can expect. A nice working environment, a nice boss, a nice career growth, nice exposure and a nice salary too. Well then, my objective was to give back to the society. I actually opened a hospital first. But then, Within one year, I realized, no, that's not my calling. That's not what I wanted to do. So like all the artists, I'm also very passionate about what I do. So I explored what can be done. And while we explored, we found out that artist is a community which possibly is never considered in any country as an underprivileged community. But then as artists, when we begin our career, many of us here as well who are watching me now have, may have also gone through a similar situation where you have spent a life which is very tough, very difficult. So that, with that mission, we started the three of us uh, and we, we call ourselves as Alchemist. So there are three people who are part of this company right now as a director. Myself, my name is Shankar Vedha and I have introduced myself. You also must be knowing Rahul Chakravarti, who is the India head for Papriano, Italy. 
So he brings the artist perspective in the company. And then we have Pawan Mori, who is the technology geek. So he brings the absolute technology solutions, absolute techie, and he brings those solutions to all of us. So that's how we work together. And I look at the overall business part of it. I look at how to help artists even develop the mindset. There are artist blogs which I also help with. The three of us uh, are, are the alchemists, are the core team members. And then uh, we have de established Jumbish, which the legal name of Jumbish is Jumbish Creations Private Limited. We established in 2016 with a mission statement that we want to enable artists to build career and their earning opportunities. Welcome back You're with us here on Leaders of Tomorrow and tonight on Small Giants, we're featuring Jumbish. Being an artist in India associated with art has always raised questions on sustainability, hoping to change perceptions and break that taboo is Jumbish. Shumangi Sinha caught up with the company to bring you more on what they do. Take a look. Art might be a means of visual relief to some and a way of expression to others. But what happens when art meets technology and more importantly, when art finds a purpose? This is a tale that Pune-based company Jumbish Creations and its founders live to tell. Founded in 2016 as an attempt to provide artists an inclusive and fair platform, Jumbish has rapidly evolved to be synonymous with bridging the not-so-artistic gaps in the current art retail and contracts market. This is a joke which I have heard from many artists that uh, they will get the actual price of the, their artwork only when they are dead. And you can see there is somebody which uh, st somebody standing behind with a gun there. So that there is a lot of money which can be earned from the, in the painting. Well, this is a joke and I really don't mean it uh, seriously. But then let's start with looking at that about how can we earn and how can we live a good life even when we are alive. So there are a few questions which as an artist we keep getting in our mind. So I have a lot of paintings made. How do I earn my living now? That's a question which comes to your mind. Alright. Second question. How to find the people who would buy my paintings? That is a very, very common question across the world. Until unless I get established, people keep start knowing me, I don't know where to find the people who would buy my paintings. And then the marketing. Oh no, that's the boring stuff I need to do. That's what I heard from a lot of artists. How do I use social media? Okay, that's not my forte. I can do a lot of painting. Give me brush, give me paints, but don't ask me for marketing. And then the final question. My paintings are copied. The piracy. Oh my God, this is so dangerous for some people that they don't even share their artwork with, with the world, with other people, with them, sometimes not even with curators and gallery owners. And this is a very serious question which possibly is there in a lot of countries across the world. How do I get royalty on resale of my painting? There are artists, they, there are singers, there are musicians, there are films, there are authors who get royalty. But we as artists, we didn't go and get royalty. Royalty is when we resell something and we keep getting a small portion of that resale. There are only few countries across the world where there is a royalty system which is established. 
there are few countries where the system is established but it is not followed because there is no system to track it on well like artist let's look at what is the other side of the story the art connoisseurs the art lovers the art buyers even they had a lot of questions there are selective people who will understand the art very well for them it is good but there are art there are art lovers who are possibly even middle class families so they what kind of question they get the first question i heard is always oh my god why is this painting cost so much i don't have an idea of how to find out the actual cost of this painting and in sense i don't know whether this painting is costing appropriately i am never confident whether whether i should buy it or not and since uh, because of this cycle that middle class person never buys the painting and never appreciates art and so the arts artists are always deprived of their art work so the artist is always deprived of their living the next question is this painting authentic where do i get the authentication certificate how do i find out that this is really really the same artist who have whose signature is there that person has made and it's not a copied version how do i get the provenance of this the provenance is the history of the ownership of the painting that through provenance we find out whether there is the authenticity is established or not for all masters uh, the european masters or the renaissance masters they need their paintings need to have an established provenance for them to be sold if you go to christies or sotheby's or any other major uh, renowned galleries they will have the entire provenance of each painting and that's how you believe you trust those institutions and buy the well friends so what is the solution if this these are the questions which is there in both the artist as well as the art buyer's mind so we came up with the technology solution last year which is about finding a iot based solution which means we developed a microchip which we which can be used to authenticate paintings and then it also helps in selling so we are calling that as jdat what that means is jumbish digital authentication tax what is a jdat so let's look at this little more this is a technology which is used in lot of financial transactions nowadays so you must have seen a credit card and you must have seen a symbol which is looks like a wifi symbol so in this case this is the symbol here so that symbol actually rep represents a technology which is called nfc and this is a very secure technology in terms of uh, for the transaction for the monetary transaction we came made it even more secure when we implemented it, this into our solution there are a lot of countries which are adopting the similar technology in the passports and of course uh, there are several mobile manufacturers who have already introduced this uh, as a part of their mobile so oneplus vivo samsung nokia iphone they have already introduced this as the as a technology in their phone which means that this kind of technology will be used a lot more uh, across the world very soon so i'll talk about this little more and uh, what i am the technology i'm talking about so i'm talking about blockchain as a technology which is very secure technology i'm talking about nfc as a, as an iot device which is and we have used the the most secure nfc in terms of 128 bit encryption with private key public key a factory unique factory rated unique id and these are called iot so the iot and blockchain when it will combines we get a very secure system but let's look at how does it work so this is a painting which has a microchip embedded inside this and when we use our phone and we just have to bring it close and we see that the entire information 
about the painting which comes on the phone directly okay the fun part is that is not just only the the description of the painting the title of the painting the artist uh, the size the all the other details of the painting it also enables a direct buying facility so anybody can directly buy uh, from from the mobile the best part of this is system is when we talk about the provenance part so when we click on the provenance it tells us uh, who was the artist who was, and when it was made and what comment it has so every time this art this artwork will be sold there will be a new record in the provenance record this painting was made by rahul so think about if i buy it from rahul there will be one record which says okay shankar has bought this painting from rahul at so and so cost and so and so date then if i sell it to somebody else then there will be one more record in the provenance which will tell the shankar has sold it to this person on so and so date and with so much of amount that is called provenance that is how we maintain the history of the ownership of the painting we also maintain this the complete profile of the artist so it will all help the buyer to find out how the amount or the appreciation of a particular painting is happening over the time well even if i don't sell it to other people if i want to buy another painting from rahul say 5 years down the line 5 years later i will go to the same system i'll try check all the artworks which are there at that time from rahul made by rahul and i'll find out what is the price it will give me an immediate understanding of how the appreciation of the value of the painting is happening over time it also tells me whether the artist is actually continuously practicing with his artwork and that shows me that the professionalism of the artist okay shankar i have a, a question one question for you um an, an artist li like me why what's the advantage uh for an artist uh, like me to to buy uh, these products uh, for um, all my paintings okay so very good question didier and thank you for asking that uh very straight so when uh, when an artist uh, buys this we put the painting for sale on our portal on our system and that system is going across the world so an artist directly is ready to sell his painting across the world we have buyers from different countries from germany china singapore australia india so we suddenly go out in the international market and every buyer will be very satisfied that they are buying a uh, original painting and this is the originality mark for a painting it is like how when you go to buy a diamond you ask for a originality certificate similarly for a painting we also have a digital certificate now so if your painting is uh, is for life it is having a authenticity certificate that is one benefit the second benefit is that if the artist wants we also sell limited edition prints of the painting so we share a revenue for that prints uh, sale also with the artist so there is an additional income for the artist and that also again goes across the world okay okay nice and um the um, and another advantage i i see is, is that um uh, with um, actually with our certificate paper certificate mm -hmm. uh, it's okay when you you sell your painting at the first time mm -hmm. but if the owners uh, sell again the painting every time 
he, he never know where is the certificate, he forget the certificate, and it's uh, and this is the end of the certificate with the painting. Or with with your with your products, mm -hmm. the certificate uh, will be uh, every time until the painting uh, is uh, in uh, in life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every time the certificate is with uh, the painting. They are both uh, many times, every yes. time. Wonderful. Okay. Yes, you're right. Absolutely okay. right. Thank. You. What's the price of your products, please? Is it very expensive or? Okay, so we kept it. Uh, if somebody wants only one or two, it becomes little maybe. Uh, so this is only ten dollars for one microchip, but with the microchip you get lifelong management of that artwork on the portal. So you don't have to pay again for anything else. And by chance, if the chip gets destroyed, we send you another one free. Okay. How do you um, uh, glue? Uh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Paste, paste at the, uh, on the painting, on the okay. back side. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, like a sticker. Sticker? So, yeah. So we just take that out and paste it on the paper. This is very strong glue. So if we try to take it out, the chip goes foul. Yes. Okay. It's broken. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, it can be used by curators uh, because Curators handle a lot of different paintings yes. on a personal level. Yes. It can be used by museums uh, because museums can also, they don't sell, but yeah. uh, they can maintain the authenticity data on this system. Yes, yeah. And then we, we are now developing the system in such a way that um, uh, the museum can, or the art gallery can say, okay, I want to manage all my data on this system. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to use this system to sell because I have enough buyers, which is also good. So primarily for galleries, for example. Okay. Say a, uh, a gallery in Dubai or say a very renowned gallery in Delhi, say maybe Delhi Art Gallery. Yeah. Okay. So they might say that, okay, I don't need any online system to sell my art. I have okay. enough buyers. I, okay. My buyers come to my gallery and we sell uh, so i don't yeah. need an online system yeah. but they still can use the same system one for maintaining the authenticity so they don't need yes. to work out yeah. separately second uh, they can work out uh, use the same system to maintain their entire inventory management yes they can manage uh, where their paintings are going uh, so they can do uh, it will work like a customer relationship management also okay wonderful yeah. Uh, since very long you were working on this, right? So we launched it last September. Okay. And uh, so far we have around uh, 230 artists uh, onboarded. Okay. You were explaining about uh, uh, how the chip will be fixed or pasted on the back of any painting. Mm -hmm. So my question is, uh, this applies to any material, uh, paper or canvas, or it is just applicable for paper? Right now, we have restricted our um, thing to only paper and canvas. Okay. And that's where we have, we have tested the glue. Uh, so we tested our glue that uh, the pH is maintained at neutral. So it is oh. varying between 6.5 to 7.5. Okay. Uh, we check uh, whether it impacts the uh, colors uh, okay. and any oxidation history okay. is there for the glue. So we are uh, interacting with famous brands like 3M, Henkel, uh, BASF, uh, this kind of brands <coughs> for the glue. Okay. Uh, which helps us uh, being confirmed with only two materials right now, paper right. and canvas. What you said, someone wants to take it off. Okay for some funny reason. So that means either painting will be destroyed. 
or the chip now if this chip gets destroyed then what so yeah. if if the painting is still in the custody of the owner of yes. the painting yeah we will uh, replace the chip uh, free of cost okay okay but if it is not in the custody of the owner which means that somebody is doing trying to do harm to the painting yes then uh, we we don't do anything with that so it the painting is lost that way okay okay and since it is uh, so it means either it is it has been forcefully taken away or it has been stolen uh, stolen from yes the owner, yeah, owner. yeah. Ah. stolen yeah if it gets it gets damaged because of water or uh, you know atmosphere or uh, season you know seasonal damage or fire so the chip and the glue both are uh, high temperature and low temperature resistant they are chemical okay. resistant and uh, water resistant moisture resistant also okay, okay. so uh, there is uh, in the practical scenario uh, if we if there is really a damage by water the painting will be damaged but the chip will still be remaining okay what about any impact if uh, if it it gets hit by something any impact Uh, so if it is a hard impact then it it will be like similar to break i mean tearing a canvas uh, it okay. will also tear it because this is uh, paper thin so if it look at this it is yes, yeah yeah very thin so if the impact is enough to tear off the paper or the canvas it, this will also tear off see i'm just Uh, what is the difference uh, between yeah. jumbish portal and the others rest of portals uh, there are so many portals in the in this field purchasing painting and selling painting so what is the basic difference between jumbish portal and others okay um, thank you for asking this question uh, so little background about uh, the company is that we were uh, we are in this art industry for the last 4 years but our forte is always uh, technology uh, the all the directors of this company also brings a lot of uh, background in the technology world so in just having a e-commerce site is as you rightly said there are plenty of sites like that we are uh, specialized in that uh, microchip Uh, which we have developed which is for authentication of the painting and that makes it different uh, from the other any other services in the in that uh, e-commerce site of arts let's also look at from the people who are selling this kind of uh, microchips also now there are few companies in the world who are also selling microchips like that but then uh we are not just selling a microchip we help an artist develop overall what that means is uh, it's not about just giving a chip and saying okay your painting is uh, digitally authenticated and nothing has to be done now we help the artist to promote himself so there is a promotion we tie up with various events across the world we have been working with you pravin uh, in various events uh so that also uh, we are creating a platform for artists to connect with different brands different events different online competitions different uh, masters across the world so this is not just about selling technology it's about creating that culture that community for artists while we will give uh, authenticated painting for the buyers uh the second question is uh, question is mine is almost similar um, that so many uh, e-commerce uh, portals are working in this field and you said few two three companies also selling uh, microchips also but uh, here is uh, i want to know what is the jumbis going to uh, do in future uh, to organize uh, a, a discussion program actually everybody is uh, concentrating on selling or purchasing paintings but nobody there is no portal available i think uh, who is uh, try to develop the uh, painting throughout the world the painting style painting techniques and exchange sharing uh, 
their techniques and all that so uh, will jumbesh going to organize a discussion program or debate program like uh, uh, through online uh, with great masters of of the world uh, and so the benefits comes to the uh, uh, throughout the art, art world is there any possibilities wonderful perspective because uh, uh, i have never got a question like this uh, so this is really uh, a nice perspective you have brought in so uh, this is how i look at it that uh, jumbish's core uh, strength is building that platform now we know that there are several masters across the world uh, there are nice uh, very high level of knowledge which is available across the world the challenge is not having not having knowledge the challenge is today about how we share this knowledge across the world so we can always become a platform and help that technology aspect of it and share the knowledge across these various people various artists across the world and reach it to reach to the thousands and lakhs of artists in the world to gain and learn from each other but we we definitely like to collaborate with uh, people like you and several masters in other part of the world and then help uh, bring the technology so that we can share your knowledge with the other people in fact uh, one of the example of this discussion is also that uh, how we bring your perspective to the world so that's thank you so much for asking this question because this is really interesting and it goes beyond just just a website or just a technology the original uh, art or traditional arts come from the village areas remote areas so they mm-hmm. are obviously not very uh, habituated of the software and the, uh, technical technicalities so i think uh, there is uh, air any plan you are going to organize in future to promote their, those uh, uh, tra- traditional artists uh, and you jumbis can reach on that remote areas to create a uh, authentic art reaching uh, taking their authentic art from those needy people those authentic artists to the actual world uh, and making a transparent art world it requires a huge lot of network of people and those network of people also need to be honest and reliable uh, so creating that that kind of network takes uh, some time so definitely we will look at this as one of the aspect to while coming in the future and uh, we can work together finding out uh, i know that in india there is a lot of traditional art similarly in africa there is a lot of traditional art which uh, can reach the world uh, there is some part of australia which has a uh, lot of traditional art as well so this is a huge scope uh, but it also needs a huge uh, network of people who who can connect and bring that authenticity right in the front of the people so let's see how it works very simple artist buys one or more number of jdats which is this microchip from jumbish artist fix fixes them on at the back of the painting and one jdat for per painting of course because every painting will be unique and for every every microchip is also unique because it has a different number different uh, security etc the artist uploads the high resolution image of the painting on the jumbish portal and set the price for each painting along with all the details if the artist does finds it with little difficult we are there to help you well the jumbish creates 10 limited edition prints for the sale of the same platform if the artist wants the artist uploads that into the jumbish portal and set the price of the painting and shares all the details of the painting with jumbish team Jumbish ensures that the JDAT and the painting matching uh, the uh, the number of the microchip and the painting is matching and then 
we also create 10 limited edition prints for those artists who agree to sell prints also now the reason is why we are selling prints is because that helps an artist to earn some extra money and we sell we create prints which are only and only 10 limited edition prints and every print will also have the same microchips which are fixed on the original painting now let's look at how the, the selling happens if the customer comes on the portal buys a painting or the print on the from the portal so artist just artist packs it and we arrange for the logistics this is how the sale happens well every time the sale happens there is two bags of money which I have shown here one is the actual uh, sale of the painting that's a bigger one if there is a sale of the prints then there are smaller money which also is shared which means we have to revenue sharing for the prints okay so we talked about uh, right in the beginning that our mission is to build artist career and create earning opportunities building car artist career is lot to do with the individual artist and how they practice how they develop their skills how to de develop their style over the years how do they learn and keep practicing and how do they show make how do they go to the shows uh, and so on so there is a lot of things which has to do from the artist as well but then there is a lot of other things which is also required which is the marketing part of it and then there is it has to be always creating an earning opportunity so what do we do so let's talk about these things so we do art sales we do artist promotions and we do authentication services so of course the art are art sales are happening from our portal online but then we also collaborate with galleries so the galleries if the galleries want their artwork to be sold we can become an online partner for them the gallery can sell it and the locally and once the show is over we can become an online partner to take that set of artwork across the world that way it's a win-win situation for both artist promotions that's the second one we help the artist to make their websites their brochures their so handle their social media etc so these are various things which are required for an artist for the marketing and i know that a lot of artists actually finds it very boring or very struggling in terms of uh, handling a social media or making a website or making a making a brochure etc these kind of things uh, makes are two cumbersome activities for the artist and then I talked about how we do authentication services so that is authentication royalty and provenance as an artist wouldn't you want to generate more income through your artwork Jumbish is a platform that lets the emerging art market know about your extraordinary talent Jumbish offers selling, reselling and authentication solutions for your masterpiece using the latest technology. At Jumbish, we create the digital identity of your artwork by placing a highly secured microchip at the back of your masterpiece. The microchip is flexible and can be bent. It has a factory written unique ID with 128-bit encryption. This microchip is temperature, chemical and moisture resistant with a strong glue. It's called Jumbish Digital Authentication Tags, also known as JDAT. This JDAT is your hassle-free authentication certificate. JDAT helps you in the long run to get royalty that you deserve on each resale of your precious art piece, same as musicians, authors, movie makers, etc. The Jumbish platform offers you to earn almost double from each of your art piece with the same secure JDAT. Follow a simple procedure. Register yourself on the Jumbish website and buy online Jumbish digital tags. As per your order, Jumbish will send you the tags. As many tags you buy, those many authentic art pieces are ready for sale. Upload the high resolution images with the details of your artwork along with the price you wish to sell it at. And that's it. Bingo! It's ready for sale. 
wish to earn some extra income for your art pieces? Additionally, Jumbish will be selling only 10 limited edition prints of the same artwork with those microchips attached. Leave the hassles of boring transactions to us and indulge yourself in another beautiful creation. Through Jumbish, you can earn in various ways. Your artwork gets sold across the world online. You will also get the royalty on the resale. Not only that, you can also earn on the sale of the 10 Jumbish limited edition prints. Our platform displays the pricing and the demand of your other artworks as well. It would also display the value appreciation of your paintings sold in the past. So hurry up, the art world is in upswing and we are in need of more transparency. Jumbish is the only way to go. Let's educate the emerging art lovers and make a transparent art market. What are you waiting for? Secure your earning potential now. Buy your tags before it's too late. Connect with us on www.jumbish.in. For further queries, write to us at contactus at jumbish.in.